So I recently got asked if I would make a little video talking about this and I also think that it's a good question because I see a whole lot of people asking it. And it is, where do you even buy or find a pinus or a bird, the, the one that you want? If you don't know, pinus are very rare in the pet trade, so we don't see them a whole lot, so they can be very difficult to come across. And so I thought that I would make a little video talking about what I would do if I didn't have Charlie or was searching for a pinus. So that is what I am going to do today, and I am going to use just the pinus as an example, but this really counts for all sorts of birds. It could be a cockatiel, it could be budgies, it could be anything you want. These are methods that apply, methods that apply to all of them. So I'm gonna go to my computer and I'm just gonna show you guys what I would do like step by step so that you can really just follow along. A couple of disclaimers before I begin though. One, I do live in Denmark, uh, as I have mentioned a lot, because it is very different. We have a uh, different system, different websites. Uh, so I am going to mention some alternatives, but just keep in mind that these are just like general topics and general things that you can do. But you know, the website isn't the one that you maybe can go to or anything like that. So keep in mind that I am mentioning something, but you need to find the alternative for your country or search in your language or whatever. Just so you guys know that you can go to the same websites because then you would be like transferred to the Danish version and that wouldn't help many of you, I think. So just so you know, these are just alternatives, Danish alternatives, but you can go find whatever suits you. Second disclaimer, especially with rare parrot species in the pet trade, there will be scammers out there trying to get your money. This is why rescues are a great thing. They rarely, I believe, will scam you. But if you are going through something like Craigslist or anything like that, be aware that people will sometimes try and scam you. So in my opinion, don't ever like pay without having seen the bird or anything like that. However, I am aware that some of you who live in way bigger countries don't have the opportunity to go and see the bird before you pay for it or maybe you need to get it shipped. I just wanted to mention it. Be very aware of who you are sending your money to, money sending your money to, um, and just keep an eye out for anything suspicious. All right, so here we are. Unfortunately, didn't have enough USB ports to get my camera to work. So we're gonna do it like this. You can see all my my bookmarks, my weird book bookmarks. So first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the rescues. And keep in mind that not all rescues are taking in birds. So you need to find specific ones that do. We only have two major rescues here in Denmark. I can just get this one up quickly. Now I'm already on the bird page here, but as you can see, it's budgies, more budgies. There's some cockatiels, more budgies. Budgies, a Rosella, I think. More budgies, more cockatiels, and some doves. Like, you would never find a Pinus in here, I can guarantee that. And I also mentioned this in one of my other videos, but this is, this is the basics. You'll see budgies and you'll see cockatiels and sometimes doves. That's all there is in here. No chance for me there, but maybe you have a rescue that you know are taking in birds. I know that the second rescue we have here, um, it's called, yeah, this one. If I go into this rescue, for example, and I'm gonna say adopt, maybe you can hear Charlie flying around, but you can see I don't have like the bird option here. They don't take in birds. And if you have no idea what some of the rescues in your area is called, you can always try and just type in like bird rescue, um, dirty in Danish, but you could type in bird rescue or whatever you prefer. So this is a list of all the places that takes in birds. As you can see, there's like, that's the big one I was talking about earlier. But there's also these ones. Let's see about this one. If it wants to load. So this is more of a... Okay, so this is more of a information page. 
I don't really see anywhere where I can actually go to something adoption thingy. No, okay, so this is this is just like information page. You also find some of these, but again, just search, do do some research, see if you can find some rescues. I have this one. Basically, it's the only one uh, I think in the whole country. Charlie, thank you. So yeah. Try and uh, look up some rescues and see if you can find any birds there. The good thing about rescues, I want to mention this, the good thing about rescues is that you're not getting scammed most of the time. Uh, you can always almost go and see the birds, see if the chemistry is there, see how it is. Uh, more often than not, they also have a little bit of background on the bird and the people working there will know something about how this bird uh, behaves and how its personality is um, without trying to like scam you or lie to you. Um, depends on the rescue, depends on the country, but this is method number one. All right, now the second option. If you still want to adopt, but you don't have an adoption center nearby, they don't have birds, they don't have pinus, I could also recommend checking out uh, Craigslist. This is the Danish Craigslist DBA, stands for the blue newspaper. I don't know why. But this is DBA, um, try and search in Pinus, one result, or not. Oh, okay, so that's an aviator harness, size small, can be used for Pinus. So that's why this one comes up, else there aren't anyone here. But I have actually seen a couple of ones in here. Um, they're not, they, they are rare, but they, they do show up. Um, but Again, this is the Danish one. I tried to find my way around Craigslist, but I must say that it it's... I don't know how you do it, but... I mean, if, if you can, can manage to find your way through Craigslist, um, congratulations. <laughs> but what I did manage to find was a bluehead, for example. Searching for a home, this was in the US near Bridgeport. All right, so here's one. For example, you can find them on there. Um, I, I just, I think I found like a global, global Craigslist. Who <laughs> um, have a snow cap. I think they mean white cap, right? Yeah, okay, a, a white cap. So here we have a white cap, but like here I would watch out a bit because I know uh, since I used this one that this picture is from the internet. Um, don't know about this one. This looks pretty legit, but this one is from the internet. I know that uh, all this price reduced. I don't know. This looks a bit suspicious to me. Uh, also pretty expensive for a pinus. I didn't give like near this amount for Charlie like at all. Um, but I do know that they, they do take quite a lot of money for them in, in the US especially. So but you know, that's that's another method. Go to Craigslist, see if there are some people selling their bird, trying to give them a new home. Um, I do want to say that this is where you'll find most of the scammers. Um, people will ask you to send money without you having seen the bird. Don't ever do that, in my opinion. Always try, always try and see if you can go out and see the bird first. Uh, or if you are getting it shipped, like be sure to get them to send pictures or videos talking, uh, anything like that, so you are absolutely sure that you are getting the bird that you want and are not getting scammed. So, second thing to watch out for, people might lie and say that this bird is the sweetest thing ever and then you get a monster. Um, of course, people are trying to sell it, try to find some genuine people who actually wishes to give the birds a good home and get as much information out of the owner as you possibly can know all the different things, the diet that the bird had, um, what it likes, treats, uh, toy preferences, all this stuff. Um, it's a good way to check in with the owner that it's legit, but also a good way to get to know the bird and see what you're getting yourself into. Okay, a third option. I don't know why I'm listing them like this, but the third option I think uh, I can think of is actually Facebook. Um, Usually, I actually don't like Facebook as like a research source, but just to to like find a list of breeders or something like that, it's actually pretty good. And 
for you Pinus people, you may know the Pinus Parrots Facebook group. I know that there are equivalents to this uh, with like cockatiels and, and all that conures, whatnot. But most of these groups have this file page where you can find all sorts of documents, all sorts of research done on the species. And it can be very good sometimes, but just keep in mind some of it is just written by some random dude who might have some good experience, yes, but I don't know. For me, it's it's more the scientific stuff that, that I lean towards, but sometimes that shows up here as well. But it's a good, like, standpoint and, and you can find some good information in here as well. But the thing we are interested in is if I write breeder. All right, so... Pinus breeders, stores, reviews, thought experiences, and also thoughts on best breeders. Um, if we just take this one, for example, and people are really good at like updating um, all this stuff, but here it's just a document full of like links to a whole lot of breeders. The only th problem I have with this is that one, it's, it's mostly just a list of all the breeders most of them maybe don't do it anymore. Maybe they're not that good or anything like that. But that's why you have these reviews. Someone is a little rude here, you know. So it's a good way to find out which breeders to go for and which to not. That's also why it's here um, to say which breeders you should not go to. Not recommended. Um, if you choose to do it, do it this way and contact some of these breeders, also... Make sure to go back here and write what your experience was. You know, were they scammers? Did you not have a good experience? Uh, did the bird have some problems that you did not expect or that the breeder did not inform you about? Anything like that, make sure to come in and just mention it so that other people aren't going the same way and are having a horrible, horrible time. But also, you know, on the other end of the perspective, be sure to go in here and say which breeders you really liked. Um, were someone very helpful? Did they, you know, recommend another place to go? Anything like that. But this is a good good way to, like, have a standpoint. Go in here, find some of the different breeders. Um, also, you can just talk to the community in general. They are very friendly in here, I find. I find that to be true, at least. Um, go in and ask. Um, they'll probably just mention uh, or ask you to go see this one. So do that as like a first thing. But if you have any questions or anything like that, you can always ask in, in this group. But uh, yeah, a bit of a wide, wide solution. But it's, it's nonetheless, as I have mentioned, a good standpoint. So go in here and check it out. Um, there are also groups I can just check. Like... Uh, is that... I think I wrote that right. Maybe not. Alright, there are some here. Kagetsil Forum. I'm not a member, I can't see much of it. But, you know, go check it out. See if there's something for the species that you want. Um, it's a good, good way to, to get some general information. Because there are also some things that are general for, for birds. Uh, that apply to all of them. But sometimes you'll actually find that something is species specific and that like these groups can be a great way to to find out about these things or at least like make you think about them and then do some some other research on them. So, so yeah, method number three. So the final method is simply just to type in Pinus breeders. And this is, I would probably go the way with like the Facebook group just to make sure that that you know, some people have commented and and said their, what their experience was. But you know what? Just try and Google it. You can also do your own research. Just again, here it's important to watch out for scammers because there will be some. And and I know that it can be hard sometimes when you are very close to getting your bird and all you have to do is like send money, and you maybe look over some of the suspicious stuff. But really be careful if anything is suspicious, bail out. I know that it can be hard because you can be very close to getting one. I would hate to be the one that guided you in like the direction uh, of a scammer. So keep an eye out for that, promise me that. But this is actually how I found Charlie. I'll just type it up in Danish here. 
this link right here, this is how I got Chali. So, you know, it's, it's, it depends very much again on the country. This is like two breeders in the whole country. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out, but do research and, and you'll find someone eventually. Um, pinus are a rare species and it might take some time to find one. It can take years sometimes, but just remember how long they live for. It's 25 years ish and waiting a year for the right pinus is, is, is way better than rushing it. Um, not only like getting scammed, but also maybe getting a pinus with behavioral problems and all that stuff. Please keep an eye out for it. Be patient. Um, you also don't want to play, pay like overpriced. Um, I would I would love to give you guys a price range of what it should cost, but I simply do not know with all the different countries what it should cost. Um, I can put up like what I gave for Charlie. I'm not like afraid to say that or anything like that, but she was very cheap. Keep that in mind. I think that Charlie was very cheap. And the guy I got Charlie from sold all the birds at this price. This was the price for the Bronx wing. This was the price for the white cap. This was the price for the blue head. For all the birds that he has, this was the price. But don't pay over price. I would say anything like above $3,000 is so overpriced. And that's that's like that's like overdoing it, I'd say. Like $3,000, that's even a lot. Um, I wouldn't do that. Of course, also, I need to mention this. The different species varies a lot. Um, bronze wings and duskies are very rare. Um, people will probably take a whole lot of money for those. You'll probably see a lot of blue heads and white caps and sometimes maxis. But you know, bronze wings and, and duskies are very rare at the moment. So be careful there, you know. Yeah, I'm not going to talk anymore. <laughs> this was just a quick video to show you guys what I would do. Bye.